Hey, what's up guys? Joel Adams with Iridesium and I am back with another pretty cool tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit simpler. Um, however, in my opinion, this is one of the most important things you can ever learn in any field of art. And this is just how to light something so that you get the most out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the model that we're going to use. I am going to go file and append and then find it on my hard drive. Alright, so here is the model, and you can see it's this hoodie, and it looks pretty cool. I did this, like, really fast with the um, new cloth sculpting brush, which I really love, and which turned out to be really fantastic. So you can either download this for free in the description, and we're going to go ahead and light it, or if you actually want the actual hoodie, you can go over to the Iridesium website and get yourself one there. It's a very, very cool hoodie and uh, it's a great way to support the channel. Link in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into lighting this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with a camera angle that I like. So you want to pick a camera angle that is going to show off your model pretty well, and uh, I don't know, that, that, that you feel like has good composition. So you don't want to just pick any random angle. I'm gonna go with something like this. So I'm gonna go Control-Alt-Numpad-0 and then zoom out a bit. So if I switch to cycles, I'm going to be doing this in cycles just because when we're playing with light and shadow, um, you kind of want the highest quality shadows and the highest quality lights you can get. So let's go ahead and open up a new window right here and I'm gonna kind of frame this uh, sweater so that it, it fits real nicely in this viewport. We'll go to the rendered view. We've got this. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the world to black. So now that we've got this set up, now that we've got the background and the camera set up, let's set up the lights. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that you can tell the difference between the background and the foreground. So I'm going to add in a light sun and this is going to be a rim light. And I'm going to put it maybe something like this, and we'll have it from the back. I'm going to duplicate this light, rotate it, and get the other side. You just want to make sure that the silhouette is obvious. So we've got this. Not bad. There's a dark area right here that we really can't see, and we really can't see this edge of the actual hood. And you kind of want to be able to see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add in a key light. So let's go light, and I'm going to try point. However, a point light might not end up working. Um, so here we're just going to get the logo itself lit so that you can tell um, what it is. Maybe turn up the power and then turn the size up. Yeah, something like that. You can actually see the edge of the hoodie now, which is good. Um, that's not really how I expected to light it, but I think that actually works. Let's add another sun lamp. And this one, I'm actually not going to rotate at all. I'm just going to leave it overhead. That's going to cast kind of a shadow right here under the hood, and I think that's okay. Um, careful with your shadows. They can make or break the image. They're very powerful. So now that we've got this, you can tell what's going on, but it, um, first of all, it's really dark. So the main thing that we want to do here is make sure that the front of the hoodie is visible. So if I keep turning this up, um, I just keep going up. Yeah, we start to blow out the logo, and then the black really isn't working. So that's because the logo is reflective. So what you might need to do in this case is leave this at 50 or whatever it was, and then add in a sun lamp, put this in the front, um, or you could, maybe we'll use an area this time. Uh, let's rotate around the median point, and crank this up, and then move this area lamp, first of all make it real small, and then move it where it's not going to reflect in the logo. Um, as much, so that we're not making a mess of the logo. Maybe I'll turn this down to 100. Maybe 150. Yeah, that's not bad. Now let's go to our rim lights, 
this one, I'll crank this up. Um, there's, you really don't want to ever blow out your image. However, rim lights, it's okay. It's okay to get a rim light that's really, really bright. Let's go to this one. Crank this one's brightness up. Then let's go and duplicate this point. And let's just make sure that we separate this inside and then the outside here of the hoodie. So I'm putting it like right next to the head. And that's pretty good. So the next thing you would do is think about whether you want to color your lights or not. Um, you could go really crazy because this is iridesium. You could make the edge here red or maybe you could do uh, blue because that's the red side of the logo. And then over here, this could be red. Now that you've got the red and blue going on, you want to turn this up to maybe 50 just to make sure it's bright enough. Anyways, this is looking pretty decent. So I'm going to turn this um, area light, light up maybe to 300. And uh, if you have a good computer, what you can do is you can go and turn on these particles. This is just a hair particle system, and it adds a little more, I hope, realism to this hoodie. Anyways, once that's turned on, I'm going to go ahead and render out this frame and see how it looks. So it's very simple. It's just that you have to take these steps every single time. You have to think about the lighting of your model every time you make a model. And once you start doing it, you'll get better and better at it. You'll get to where you can make something like this, which isn't fantastic, but it's pretty good, really fast. Lighting is one of my favorite subjects. I just really, really enjoy it. It's so mesmerizing to see your model just appear, like come out of nothingness. You've got this pitch black scene, and then you use lights to sort of sculpt your model into existence. And it's just such a great feeling. As I said, these hoodies are really awesome. I'm wearing one right now, and I'm really enjoying it. If you want to pick one up, you can go over to the Iridesium website, which I've linked in the description, and get yourself one there. It is a really great way to support the channel and get yourself some, you know, cool winter clothes at the same time. Otherwise, I have put in the description links to a couple 3D models that are really simple but are going to be great to practice your lighting skills on. Anyways, that is all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. This is Iridesium.